Ooh, an airlock. Even if I'm not necessarily in a, in a hurry to use it right now, at least now we have that unlocked. So I can access this place from outer space if needed. Don't know how much space is going to play, uh, play a role in this game or not, but it's definitely important to press those buttons as we find them. Alright, so now we have two locations you can access via space. Yep. Should I poke outside? No, I don't think so. Not in a hurry to go into space quite yet. But I'll open them up as I go. Hello. How am I gonna get up there? I don't know. Another turret damage, great. Okay. Nope. Nope. What? You're alive? Damn, that at point that had that a uh, that health bar seemed completely empty. I'm like, oh, I got him. There we go. There we go. And like that, then I realized him rolling around. I'm like, what? He's not dead yet. What is this crap? I'm gonna have to buy some more, or craft some more shotgun shells at this rate. Look. Kind of hard to scan it when I kill them, unfortunately. So I did, I did kind of detect that as I was going. Sure. So I guess it kind of works. Okay, nothing else for now. Let's actually check the room for my purposes now, as opposed to checking for mimics. You poor guy. He's dead everywhere. Unfortunately, these level 1 ones just die constantly. Psycholab A, a list of our current research project. New test, anyone? Check lab equipment. Give data results. Approval. Where is Morgan? Missing? They don't know where Morgan was. Was this during the time when I was in the test? Did people not know I was in the test? Was my test itself a secret to most of the, uh... To most of Talos? Oh. Whoops. <laughs> that definitely finishes off the turret. It was down already, though. This takes me back to the main lab. There's Annalise Galagos. Ooh, the light just came on. Oh. Power alternating in that room, I wonder? This takes me back to the main staircase that was collapsed. We didn't go through back then. We seem kind of clear on items overall. Well, now, that'll screw with my sense of where things should generally be hiding in this room. Mimic. And you know the location of that mimic specifically.
Why did you fall over? Is there one hiding under the desk? The hell? <laughs> Why'd that fall over? That was weird. What are these? These are just different... They must be just different uh, mimic organs. We saw one of these behind one of the... So for some reason, it was behind one of the things. Behind, like, a cabinet. There's Evan Avery. There's something behind this. Warning, I've sealed several mimics inside. Two casualties, so maybe as many as eight mimics. Oh, great. The mimics come from human flesh, then, right? That's why, the, that, that's why you have an idea of how many you think there are. Typhon organ. Grabbing what I can. Oop. There's so many organs everywhere. Holy crap. Ooh, thank you. They're basically just all stacked everywhere. Okay. It's a decent haul. Okay. I've had better ideas. You son of a bitch. That was not the right call. Alright, my bad. Damn it. Alright. For some reason I thought I was going to be a little less... Obvious when I did that. I was gonna like maybe I can just poke a hole in this wall and I was gonna try to throw an explosive through it. That was my master plan. Uh didn't quite pan out that way. Let's go for suit repair. Is that the one? Nope. We're good. Alright. Yeah, that was a mistake. I thought I was going to uh, throw the explosive through the window once I opened it, but they were immediately on me. And now the explosive's gone. Is there another one in this room I can come back and grab? They're, those things tend to be everywhere, right? Let's go on a quick trip. It'll give me a chance to chow down a little bit more. It's gonna be time to actually use our healing items again soon at this rate. Oh, that's the mimic I saw and I looked straight at. That's why it's on my map. Wasn't there, like, an explosive lying around in here? That turret just sounds mad at me. Wow. There was a surprising lack of explosives around here. That's disappointing. Ah, oh, you could work. I can't see shit. Huzzah. I just want to throw something explody in that room and see how much damage it does. But also, you have to deal with uh, the problem of like how accurate is your throwing in this game and how reliable it is, is it? Because heavy objects go in weird arcs and collide with stuff strangely because they're because they're, their shape. Good start, maybe? <laughs> I get one? I'm not sure. It is worth a shot. You coming? Come on over. Does it a does its AI not know how to jump on top of this thing? Weird. Or is it is that hiding under the desk? You little shit. I was waiting for it to hop on this desk so I could shoot it. That didn't really pan out, I suppose. That's a bad time.
Hello, Dr. Kelstrup? I wanted to follow up on my request to view one of the volunteer abdication contracts. Anna, you're supposed to be off today. I had some free time, so I thought... I've already told you, the VACs are sealed documents. My hands are tied. But... But isn't there some allowance for the researchers? I mean, my god, I'm the one pushing the button. Look, I understand. I really do. It wouldn't be human if this was easy. I just want to be sure. Believe me, everything we've done is perfectly legal. That's because Talos 1 is an extra national space. There are no laws. Anna, you're tired. It's affecting your judgment. Now, I've tolerated it for a while, but enough is enough. You need to take some time, understood? Yes, Dr. Kelstrom. I understand. Good. Oh, look, you may be late for a meeting with Alex. That wasn't very nice game, attacking you all tried doing, trying to do audio logs. You sure about this? Not too late to flush it all out in airlock, you know. I'm sure. Are you having second thoughts? No way. I'm in. It's just... I'm not the one incriminating myself. There's no happy ending for me either way. I'm trying not to think about it. Sorry. Did you make arrangements? Mitchell's on board. He's gonna bring me food. I don't need to know the details. Better that way. It has to happen on your next rotation. I put everything in a package labeled Mementos. The package is in my cabin. It's got to go to every media outlet imaginable. Got it. And Quinton, be careful. Security is already scrutinizing me more than usual. So Galagos tried to expose everyone, everything that's happening here. Who's that? Corey Richard. <sighs> that Galagos? Yes. So she died here. The person he was talking, they were talking to, is not here. This is Corey. I'm gonna let them lay down. Okay. You may want to go big or go home with this. How many of them are in there? The other one gone now? I was hoping there were maybe... Because there was a few of them coming this way a moment ago. I was hoping they might all be around. If possible, I'd like to make this charge count. They just went and surrounded me with hazards when that happened, huh? Are they gonna be in the same room again? Oopsie. <laughs> wrong... Wrong button there for a second. Maybe not the recycler charge then. Although also maybe just totally the recycler charge? <laughs> Only three shotgun blasts left. Yeah, let's make it count. What was that? Did you not get sucked into that? You son of a bitch. He survived that. Oh, I didn't reload it. I forgot to reload. Crap. I get for trying to switch out my ammo types. Well, at least some stuff got recycled in here, but damn, I was hope really hoping it would get him. That was like... That was basically the point. Gross. So much of stuff got sucked in, so there's just like chunks of everything. Yeah, everything got- everything got ripped off the shelves everywhere in here. Except for some of these things. But most of it. That is, that is kind of amusing, that everything just got ripped off the shelves here, as I was hoping. But I was really hoping it would get him. He seemed to jump out of the way or something? Somehow escape its overall pull? Alright, well that's two of them down. I'm glad I didn't repair that, uh, turret. I briefly considered the idea of repairing this turret as a way of dealing with the, uh, incoming- the, uh... In fact, I knew this room was gonna be full of mimics, but then, uh... And decided to try to blow them up instead. Maybe worked, maybe didn't. But ultimately, uh... Th that turret would have been obliterated by those guys, because they're terrible at fighting them. 
Test tube samples. It's gonna poke around for a little while in here. Bullets. Is this first contact? Yeah, this is the first contact tape. We've seen this. Don't see anything back there. So I can periodically drink for one more hit point over and over again if I want to be really persistent about it. Neuro mod. One more for the set. What are we at now? Two. Not great. <laughs> Introduction to survey of parapsychological meta-analysis. For example, conducting a meta-analysis of over 2,000 Gansfield trials wherein participants are subjected to mild sensory deprivation in order to test for telepathy reveals a hit rate of 39%. These results are statistically significant, meaning that the success rate is above what could be explained by chance alone. There is no denying it. Something spooky is going on here. That's distressing, watching her body jiggle when you grab something off of her. It's like, ah, sorry. Oh, she has a password-protected computer. Oh, no, you didn't. Where are you hiding your password? Unless I want to get hacking one. <laughs> Not an unreasonable skill to have, so maybe I should. Oh, hello, pistol. Don't think I'm going to get the password out of here, especially since uh, you can't... Unlike, uh, codes, you can't manually enter a password. You have to know it by looking at it. Should I get hacking one? It's only hacking one. And I'm curious. I still don't know what hacking one looks like, necessarily. Or what hacking works like. And it's only one Neuromod point. Bypass level one security measures on computers and robotic systems. I've gone this long without getting even, even tier one of this. Let's get started. What in the world? Alright, time to find out what this game's hacking minigame is. Surely it's got to be better than Pipe Dream, right? The hacking skill allows you to bypass security systems, protecting keypads, workstations, and security stations. At higher skill levels, you can hack into robotic systems such as turrets and operators. You hack using WAS WASD to quickly navigate the bitstream to reach the target. Once inside the target, press the prompted button to complete the hack. Okay. Got time limit. Oh, I'm up here. Okay. I probably don't want to hit the lightning bolts, because those seem like they'd stop me or something. Oh, this is a weird feeling. Okay. Hi. I was down to the last second, so I did a terrible job, basically. Remember your mission. From Hans Kellstrup to Annalise Scaligos. The volunteers Transtar sends us are irredeemable sociopaths sentenced to die for their crimes. We are neither judge nor jury. We only enable their already ordained destruction to benefit all of humanity. Read the file on 13 if you need assurance. It's unlocked in the ex it's unlocked in the extraction lab. I'm an idiot from Damian Lynn to Annalise Kelagos. I managed to lock my morgue key card in the morgue. Kelstrup thinks I'm an imbecile. Have any ideas? Oh, the morgue is locked from the inside. So, every, so all the test subjects are supposed to be horrible monsters that are sentenced to die, supposedly. But that doesn't stop them from having qualms with the idea of human testing and stuff like that. So the whole thing is still pretty fucked up. Hello. Are those plants growing out of the roof? What? Those are plants. Are those actual plants? Those aren't like a texture. It's not a flat wallpaper thing. Those are like actual plants somehow growing like suspended upside down and crap like that. That's weird to look at. Huh. Well, that's a trip. You got yourself an interesting office. Had yourself an interesting office. Yeah, I'm just going to be honest. You're creeping me the fuck out. Oh my god. That's not what I wanted to do. Woo. Boy. That was an event. <laughs> I was just like, I'm gonna just drag you a little bit and just let you lay down on the floor like 
bodies sh probably should because this whole thing of you propped up and looking like that is like nightmarish. Freaking... <laughs> I, what even happened there? I think what happened is I grabbed them and they like cartwheeled onto me because of the physics of it being in a chair make the, made the game freak out a little bit. And then that made me freak out, so I pulled the trigger on accident because I... Because it's very easy to click on accident. And I just ended up shooting with a shotgun while rolling backwards and I'm like, what the f... I had to like... <laughs> Mentally try to reconstruct the sequence of events I just did because that was weird. All right, that's one enemy down. And this gun, this gun's out of ammo now. Is it coming? Did you actually die that fast? Oh. Alan Barker Combs, that's them. I was not expecting her to die that fast, that was a surprise. Hello, operator. Look at all these bullets for the thing that I already have a ton of bullets for. How convenient. I'm gonna have to find myself back to a replicator so I can... Make what I need. Ooh, medkits. Fantastic. Yes, I am happy to find all these things. Largely fine in here. Alright, cool. As Galagos' office, we came from there. How's the surrounding looking? Do I recognize everything now? Yeah, when we came in there, went around there. Okay. So I've now more or less been everywhere around here. Now I'm ready to move forward-ish. Past the place where I put my turret that got obliterated from behind because those sneaky bastards come from every direction and scripted moments of murder. Thanks, game. Hello, Dr. Yu. Hello, so you're alive still, science operator. You've been lucky so far, haven't you? How far do I have to backtrack? Not far. Yeah, let's, let's go spend my stuff. Glad I got rid of that lightning issue then. Okay, you. Get rid of all that. That's so much. Uh, I think I'm gonna turn you into spare parts, as per usual. There we go. How are we doing on spare parts? We're up to 20 now. I'm happy to see that. Let's uh, probably sort by type. There we go. be a pretty significant yield at this point. Yep. Over eight exotic material. Dang. Maybe it's time to craft some more skill points. I've opened you before, right? No? Power control terminal. Ah. Oh. So that would have allowed me to disable the situation. Yeah, that's not enough. Oh! That opened the safe. No, I've already been in the safe, haven't I? Yeah. So doing that makes it possible for me to check, uh, get past the lightning without having to uh, use parts, but ultimately the entire room ceases to function, so it's not really worth it. But that's what was in there. I passed that up on accident, whoops. Even with how thorough I am, there's so much crafting, you can just walk right past. Cause it's just so much, it's just a dense game. I'm just gonna spam Neuromods, I think. It's kind of a no-brainer to buy skill points in an RPG, really. I can buy three more right now. There we go. Now we're right back up to four. Okay. Could go into hacking two if I wanted to. Make med kits even more effective if I wanted to. Make the ones we use that are more efficient. This makes food twice as effective. Also worth looking into for healing. There's good options given. Yeah, they give you a lot of good options here. Leverage is there. 
More material yield for the entire game. The question is, do I think that the 20% material yield would lead to me getting three uh, neuro mods from materials, basically, to make it kind of self-fulfill? That's bonus health. Damn if there aren't a lot of good options. I think I'm going to finish saving up for Gunsmith 6, finally. Yeah. Let's let's get two more points for Gunsmith two, uh, 2, so I can max out my skills. Did I just drop something? No, that was me putting down the thing that was in front of my eye. I was afraid this might happen. Our lead Neuromod engineer, Alden Graves, hit a kill switch in the license for Neuromod plans. Shame. He was a solid engineer. I think he was suspicious of the more exotic components. You'll need to use this workstation to reset the license. His office is in the Neuromod division. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> Someone straight up put DRM on the Neuromod recipe? Fabrication plan DRM does not match security key. Alden Graves. You son of a bitch! Ha! Huh. To be clear, I did not pirate this game or anything. That's not DRM as in, like, anti-theft for the game itself. Because I know that some games will do, like, weirdly elaborate things when they detect you're pirating it. That's not what this is. This is a joke. Or not necessarily even a joke that they call it DRM necessarily, but, like, just a... This is an in-universe DRM, not a... Our world's DRM. You son of a bitch. So I have to do a quest if I want to keep getting more of the, uh... I've done everything here, right? Yeah. I need to go do a quest if I want to get the... ability to keep making more Neuromods. Thankfully I got to use all the ones that I had. But we're gonna have to look around for many more. Mimic Matter. Camouflage yourself by taking the form of a nearby object. Uses two Psi per second. That lets me turn into a coffee cup. <laughs> I can do the mimic trick. Two side per second. Let's you do more complex machines such as turrets. That's interesting. Does my turret shoot then? Camouflage yourself, taking form a nearby object. You can be an operator. Interesting. I wonder what the exact uh, what the exact context is for taking the uh, the form of a mimic or uh, an operator or a turret. Like, can you you must be able to do everything they can, right? Otherwise, what's the point? Mimic. One of the first ty a Typhon discovered during the Verona 1 incident in 1960. Mimics are capable of imitating nearby objects. During incident case 0648040163, it was observed that mimics use other living organisms to reproduce as a reproduction me uh, medium, killing their prey in the process. In accordance to the with the Pobeg protocol, mimic specimens are not to be released in environments with a contaminated rating of less than S. Four. Everything else is pretty much the usual. All right. Son of a bitch. There's DRM. Oh right. I need to make myself some shotgun shells. How are we doing on those re on those requirements? Three metal, two synthetic. Yeah, we're doing great. gonna spam for a bit, I think. Let's see. I have 48 in my inventory right now. I could do more. <laughs> they have the shotgun shells. There we go. That's a good place to be in. Oh, my babies are all ready again now. Is anything else weirdly not repaired or not uh, filled up again? I should probably use the uh, laser a little bit more. I'll probably be- I'm probably getting some flack by now for not using it often enough. Although my damage, uh, increases don't apply to it. That's one slight argument against it. Alright. No way left but forward then, huh? You're not gonna be friendly.